to my channel again I have had a big birthday and I've had so much fun even though we are in isolation and I can't see my family other than my husband and my son I managed to have a wonderful party on Saturday night with all my loved ones um, I've I received some wonderful gifts that I'm going to tell you about and I've got cards and flowers and I had a big cake so I'll be posting some photos in this YouTube, uh, YouTube video and I'll be telling you all about how to host your own Zoom birthday party. So let's get right down to business. I'm not going to waffle today. Um, oh, better start the timer. And that started and I've got my cup of tea, which today is just water. Uh, this is one of my birthday gifts I got from my daughter. She is in Portugal as you know and this is actually made in Portugal but she ordered it online together with a bowl just there you go um, she ordered it online through a Melbourne company and then they mailed it to us so I was able to get my birthday present from Portugal via Melbourne just so clever my girl okay so we're talking about hosting a zoom party and um, my daughter had one a week before mine because our birthdays are a week apart so they were quite different hers was a cocktail party so we gave her uh, party a theme and everyone had to present a cocktail and tell everyone else how they made it and what the ingredients are etc and that was a lot of fun um, mixing because you were mixing drinks beforehand and, and thinking about what you're going to make and uh, and planning ahead and you got the chance to dress up and that was uh, two weekends ago on a Saturday night. And then my birthday is the following Saturday night. And my theme was high tea because I had actually booked a high tea restaurant for lunch for my family um, oh, two, three months ago. And that, of course, did not eventuate. First of all, my daughter couldn't get back from Portugal. Secondly, uh, all restaurants were closed. And then I thought, well, I'll just have the high tea at home in our own our beautiful home. And... Um, that didn't eventuate either because we can't have more than two people visit us at a time here in Queensland and in some states uh, and countries you can't have anyone visit you and even then it has to be a social distance of 1.5 meters now so we did the zoom party for me and I decided even though I was quite gloomy beforehand I decided that I was going to make the best of this I was going to have fun just as if I were going to the high tea restaurant. So um, I'm going to give you some tips of what I had to do beforehand. I sent out an invitation by email and Facebook group and it's quite a good idea to do both because you might, someone that's very dear to you might miss out or have an old email that the message doesn't get through to them. So having a Facebook group event page is also a good idea. And in that um, you, you mentioned things about your theme, about the high tea theme, and every person had to actually bake their own little high tea treats. And we had some amazing efforts, I can tell you. Um, even my daughter, who's in a tiny little flat in Portugal, had this beautiful stack of high, high tea treats. So um, there was a dress code. You had to dress up. Uh, we had people in suits and bow ties and ball gowns. Uh, it, it was just charming. And... That was fun too because otherwise you don't feel like it's your birthday unless you have a reason to get dressed up, a reason to go somewhere, even if it's just walking down the hallway out of the bedroom and into the dining room, which is where I'm sitting today. I'm in the dining room in front of a lovely window and I have um, my phone raised up on top of two, uh, it's stacked up nice and high so um, you can actually see me quite clearly and... I've got two lamps on either side. Even though I've got light coming through the window, it is afternoon. So I've got, and this is the south side of the house. So I've got two lamps uh, lighting up either side of my face as well, just to get a balance. And you can see how much light there is in the back of the room. It's not that bright in this part of the house. So um, in the invitation, I'll just read it to you. It said the dress code. The lady of the hour requests that you dress up. Yes, take a shower and put on, put on a fancy frock or a nice shirt, add a bow tie, maybe a hat, dress nice, feel nice, 
but pants are very much optional. So I do have pants on tonight, today. They are shorts, but, uh, and I and I was fully dressed on Saturday night, even with glittery shoes on. So I went dressed all the way down to shoes. And then it says gift, a virtual party equals virtual gifts. So my guests were invited to create something for my birthday that they could actually present during the Zoom party. So I'll just leave that with you for now. And the food is a high tea, so everybody was preparing their own high tea snacks. And we had, um, we had little mini pavlovas, which I'll put photos up. And we had lemon chiffon pie, which was my mother's recipe, and she used to make for me. Uh, marshmallow shortbread, which was my favourite um, sweet when I was growing up. And Linza torta, uh, which I got from the bakery that the high tea restaurant actually catered my cake. And I also bought some Linzer Torte from them. And Linzer Torte is a sort of a spiced cake from Germany with a jam topping. One of my favourites. And I do actually have a recipe for it. So before the party, so that was the invite and that went out. And then I ordered a cake from the high tea place. And I said, look, there's only three of us at home, but you can make a cake for six because two of the, boy, the boys are very big. And But the cake was enormous. It was three tiers high. You'll see the photos and huge had flowers on top and all done in a pink um, icing that was smeared around the edges. And that's now in the freezer. So we have freeze, frozen all the leftovers and, uh, and we set the table very, very fancy. So I got out, it was a high tea party. So I had out all the silverware, a silver teapot, um, all the historic uh, cups, tea, tea cups and saucers that um, I like to use when I have girls over for a, for a cup of tea. And they were all out, so we had champagne glasses, we, ha we had the whole thing. It was as if we were hosting for 20 people, but there were only three cups set out. But I felt, I felt like I had an event, I felt like I was looking forward something, to something that evening. And it started at 7.30 in the evening because that was like 10.30 in Portugal and 9.30 in New Zealand and 6.30 a.m. in Argentina and um, about 10.30, I think. In Germany so these are all the people and and the beauty of the zoom party is that I was actually able to invite people that I don't normally have at my party so people that um, live in New Zealand my some of my besties um, they were able to come to my party and that was just magical especially having my daughter there from Portugal and her partner so anyway and then the last thing you have to do is get dressed up and I mean dressed up with your all the jewelry all the makeup buff your hair whatever you need to do pop paint your nails whatever you need to do dress up and you feel like you're going to a party and then you make your way down to the dining room so before the party starts uh, you'll notice my husband got me a 60 yes can you believe it it I do not feel like that age and I'm certainly don't act that age but I am, and uh, I'm going to make the most of it. So having a YouTube channel is a crazy thing to start at my age, and I'm only a beginner, so please forgive me if I waffle on and make mistakes. Uh, I am quite excited about it, and it is a nice little hobby for me, even if I'm just chatting about myself. It'll be a legacy I leave behind. So before the party starts, set up your Zoom, open up your laptop, open up Zoom, and check your lighting. So I actually um, have a page. I start a meeting for one, and I check my lighting and I check my sound. I check my seating arrangement to see what's in the background and whether I need to um, raise the, the, the laptop a bit higher or lower it or turn it. And you know, have, where's the lighting coming from? It was night time, so we actually had all the lamps on, um, but not overhead lighting because that really casts a shadow down your face. And if you have lighting on only one side and not the other, it also casts a shadow across half of your face. So just you just check all those things and it's really easy to do before the party starts. But another thing to do while you're still inside the Zoom app on your laptop or your computer, uh, the other thing to do is to go into video settings. So you go once you have a, um, a page open, a meeting open, you go down to uh, video and beside it is a little arrow going up and you click on that little arrow and you'll see video settings. So you choose that and you can click on something that's called touch up 
my appearance. Yes. Think about that. Touch up my appearance. It takes 15 years off you. Suddenly I look like I'm 45. Like it. So then you go with that. You say, I look good now. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for the party to start. Now, think about your party. You need to have a host or an MC for your party, your Zoom party. Um, mostly because when you get more than six people in a party, it starts to get a bit noisy and more like a rabble. Um, it's, it's not like a normal party where everybody moves off into their own little groups and just talks to or three people. You've got everybody there at once and they can't actually talk to each other individually unless you put them into private meeting rooms. So you've chosen a host for your party and you need to choose someone who's quite confident. I hosted my own party because I'm, I am very confident. I'm, I'm an ex-teacher so I'm used to uh, speaking in front of a crowd and somebody who can actually lead the party because they're going to manage the event and you want to have you want to give your event some sort of structure so you, th you think about how you're going to structure the event you could start off with um, a welcome to everyone who's there and then you could do some introductions because there will be people there that don't know each other just like in a real party you might like and the people will be in their little boxes so I like to start off with gallery view so everyone can see each other and and then you introduce each other um, one and all and and maybe give a little anecdote about how you know them how long you've known them where you met and any little funny stories and they might actually contribute too so at that mo moment in time I usually have everyone unmuted so everyone can speak and out of politeness they're all listening to you because you're the birthday girl so some of the tips for Zoom is for hosting a Zoom party is before your party actually starts, the minute you hop in and you see everyone there, what you should do is actually press record. So I did that pretty soon after my party started and I pressed record and it recorded for three and a half hours. I kid you not, we were there for three and a half hours having a ball. So press record at the end of the Zoom session, the recording will automatically convert and then save onto your laptop. I don't know how that happened, but it did it automatically. Uh, and so I now I have this beautiful recording of my party and all these lovely things that happened. Uh, it's well worth recording. So you might like to start, well, you, after the introductions have been done, you might like to um, ask everyone to mute themselves. Or as host, you can actually mute them yourself. If everyone mutes themselves and they would like to say something, they just press the space bar to speak. And you might need to explain that to your guests because some of them will not have used Zoom at all. I did actually give my best friend a lesson on Zoom a couple of days before the party because she was feeling really nervous about being about attending and not knowing, you know, how to use it. So you might want to give a couple of them a lesson ahead of time and. Um, explain to them how they can mute and unmute themselves and also how they can speak by using the space bar. But as host, you can mute and unmute everybody at the same time. Um, I do like to have it unmuted for some of the time because it gives more of a relaxed vibe, more like a party and you can hear people laughing at jokes and there's always somebody who's gonna be a bit silly and we can see what they're doing in their box, their little window and so we have a laugh at that. And um, one of my Melbourne friends was had a background that was actually Burley Heads on the Gold Coast, so he was pretending he was here, and um, we, were, we were teasing him. And, and another couple came dressed in Hawaiian costume and were pretending they were in Hawaii. And I and I said, you know, what are you stuck on a cruise ship or something in your Hawaiian gear? So yeah, we had a few laughs. So it's nice to have it unmuted for some of the time, but there are times when you you need to mute people because sometimes people are speaking and they don't even realise it. Okay, so the second, um, after you've done the introductions, you might like to start and you've had a chat and, and everybody's been laughing for a while and people are drinking champagne and, and, you're, and toasting you and things like that. You can actually um, offer, you know, who would like to go first, who would like to be the spotlight speaker. And to put a spotlight on someone, you go up to their window and in the top right hand corner, there were three little dots in a blue square. So you take your cursor up to the little window, the top right of their window, and you press the one, I think it says pen spotlight. 
and then that person is is the spotlight person and they become the spotlight speaker and if you if the host does this if you the host do this then then everyone can actually see um, only that speaker and so it's ideal as the host to, to pin that speaker and then it is pinned for the whole whole party everyone in the party only sees that speaker and if you then ask everyone else to mute themselves so that that speaker can present their virtual gift so I got um, this was really lovely I think I got nicer gifts than I get because in real life you get concrete gifts that you can hold and have uh, and you get hugs which is is you know that's irreplaceable but I have never received so many virtual gifts like like this I, I'll tell you some of the things I got um, where are they okay I found them so the virtual gifts that I received at my party were three poems one from my niece which was particularly beautiful one from my first cousin and one from my best friend uh, one musical performance by my girlfriend and her husband who was on clarinet and three speeches from my dear friends uh, one rap song by my nephew who's a rapper this Sunday, this weekend, Tennis birthday is what I be speaking. Had no gifts, so slow and deep in. With a little bit of help, I'm preaching. So today I love my tether. My tether is better than ever. My um, just look for him on YouTube. His name is Asher License, and you can actually download his new uh, album on Spotify and Google. Google Play. Um, one humorous song and dance by my sister, who is an entertainer and performer, singer, songwriter, multi-award winning performer. Uh, and that was so funny with her husband and daughter dancing in the background um, one artwork by my daughter that she is a print a liner cut print that she made stunning I will show you one day and one video of my life created by my brother's family uh, right from when I was a little baby up until now so that's something I get to keep all of them I get to keep the rap song I get to keep the video, the artwork, uh, copies of the speeches, copies of the poems, and the, and I got a book. Now the book is really funny. It's a book that you can download from the internet, and you just put in your name and two other characters' names, and then it sort of slots it into the entire. It's a, it's a novel of about 160 pages, so it slots your names into all these into the story. So it, it's as if the story is about you, and it's called Captain Stupendo. And I'm the main character, some sort of superhero, and my husband is Captain Stupendo. And he's not as good a stupid superhero as I am. But there is a, uh, there is a, um, my, my friends who made this, their daughter is a graphic designer. And so there is this image of the two of us as uh, Wonder Woman. Hey, that is my alter ego. You may not know that. My friends on Facebook do. And my husband as Superman, and I've never seen him looking more, more handsome. So yeah, I like I like that one a lot. I'll see if I can put that photo in. Okay, so um, you have a host, and the host is introducing each person, and they've done the introductions, and the virtual gifts have all been given. And as each person gives their virtual gift, um, they might like to actually do a screen share so while somebody is spotlighted and delivering their gift they might have it on their computer and they want to share it with the group so they can do a screen share which is a green button down the bottom in the middle it's a good idea to actually have that open already before the party starts so have that already open on your laptop before you start before you join a zoom party so that when you do your screen share the screen that you're sharing is the thing you want it to show so you're not searching on through your through your files and stuff and everyone can see all your personal files and your emails and things um, yeah so have that open and ready to go is actually a much better idea and then um, and then the host or the birthday girl like me might like to give her thank yous and then after that and it look it went for three and a half hours because there were 11 presentations of gifts and after that people started leaving it was quite late in New Zealand at that time um, it was already, I don't know, midnight, I think, when we all packed up in New Zealand and about 10 o'clock here. So the, we continued talking for a while um, and as people dropped off, the group got smaller and smaller and it became more intimate and then 
we didn't have anyone muted and you could just chitty chat. So I highly recommend that you host yourself a Zoom party. And um, if you have any questions, you can pop them down below. If you have hosted your own Zoom birthday party and you've got some suggestions, pop them in the comments below. Um, in the meantime, I think I've covered everything that I wanted to say. And I forgot to mention that we actually had the cake, the cake was just here behind me and we had a cake cutting ceremony. So uh, for the cake cutting ceremony, you want to have everyone unmuted so that they can sing. But the funniest thing about Zoom is when everyone's singing, they're all out of sync. So no, and it's just, you just burst out laughing because there's nothing more stupid. And we only had about 12 um, attendees. And I think that was a really good number because if you have more than, I think, 15, the group's really too big. So we had 12 attendees. I think I invited more than that, probably about 17, but people couldn't come. And they, um, so 12 was just a really good number because you could see everybody in gallery view all at the same time and then jump between gallery and speaker view quite easily. Um, and it was easier, I think, for the host to, um, to host. So yes, we had a birthday cake ceremony with a candle, everyone singing to me and it was magic. I really am so happy. I feel so loved. I'd like to thank everyone who was there for helping me celebrate my birthday. I really appreciate you all. I appreciate the gifts that I was given by you and I adore you all. Thank you to anyone who's watching today and thank you for following me on YouTube or popping in for the day on YouTube. I really appreciate your being here and I, I hope you're taking care and stay stay happy because this is a really great world we're in and there are lots of fun things happening that you can be involved in and if there aren't then you make them yourself so go out there and just have a, you don't need a birthday just have a party for any old reason so take care Chua, sir. Mm -hmm.